Often, when applying for an unsecured small business loan, you're required to provide a personal guarantee of the loan, either in full or in part. A personal guarantee is unsecured, which means it's an amount not tied to any specific asset, such as your home. Therefore, you're usually putting yourself and all your assets in your own name at risk. If your business fails, you are personally liable for repayment of the loan and other costs incurred in recovering that amount from you, including legal fees and interest. Often with a personal guarantee will come what is called an indemnity. When you give an indemnity, you are agreeing to be responsible for all costs of the lender, which may include any costs they have in recovering the loan amount from you, plus interest, plus any other costs they incur, such as their own legal costs. For this reason, the amount that the lender can recover from you if you default on your loan is not just limited to the loan amount, but includes all of those additional costs incurred as a result of the default, which can be more than the cost of the outstanding debt if the amount of the outstanding debt is relatively low. It is also important to keep in mind that the lender is permitted to sell your personal assets to recover the debt, and if you have property in your own name, this is also at risk. If the lender sells your property, but the amount they achieve for the sale does not cover the debt owing, then they can continue selling the rest of your assets until the debt and indemnity costs are covered. If they sell your house for more than the debt and indemnity costs, then it is likely that you will have some of the money returned to you after the sale. However, you will have lost your property. So providing a guarantee is quite a serious aspect of lending to consider. If you're in business and looking for funds to fund growth, you may consider the option of selling some of your shares in the company for a capital injection. Although you may be losing part of your potential future profits, you won't be putting yourself at risk like you will with a bank loan. It's always good practice to ensure that you have both an accountant and a financial planner so that you can know where your money is going and how it is working for you and therefore make the best decisions at the time, which takes into account your future strategies. If you'd like to find out who other virtual legal clients tend to rely on for accounting and financial advice, please go to the referral portal on our website.